Hello everyone, we are back with lecture 2, that is lecture 2 of chapter 2 civics class 8, that is secularism. Now we are going to start from a new topic that is strategies followed by India to uphold principle of secularism. The first point is separation of religion from the state. This is the first strategy. Hai. स्टेट और रिलीजन को दोनों को सेपरेट रखा गया है ताकि कॉन्फ्लिक्ट ना हो अब क्यों रखा गया है गवर्नमेंट के नॉट प्रमोट पार्टिकुलर रिलीजन इन देयर डे टू डे एक्टिविटीज गवर्नमेंट के पास ये राइट right नहीं है कि इट कैन प्रमोट एनी रिलीजन और इट प्रैक्टिसेस इन डे टू डे एक्टिविटीज ठीक है कोई भी एक पर्टिकुलर रिलीजन की एक्टिविटीज को गवर्नमेंट प्रमोट नहीं कर सकती है ओके now the second point is state cannot discriminate between the member of members of different religious group koi hindu hai ya muslim hai ya christian hai ya sikh hai ya baudh hai ya jain hai is basis pe hum yani ki hamara state india kisi bhi aadmi ke sath discrimination nahi kar sakta hai no discrimination on the basis of a religion okay now the second point non interference in religious beliefs and practices matlab ki koi bhi interference nahi religious beliefs mein aur practices mein indian state does not forbid people from following their religious beliefs and customary rituals matlab ki state does not stop people from following their religious beliefs and customary rituals unke apne beliefs hain unke apne rituals hain indian government usme interference nahi karti hai okay लेकिन वक्त वक्त में ऐसे बहुत सारे केसेस हैं जहां पे उनको इंटरफेरेंस करना पड़ता है उसके बारे में हम आगे पढ़ेंगे स्ट्रेटजिक रिलीजियस इंटरफेरेंस इन कंटेक्स्ट ऑफ प्रिंसिपल्स लेड डाउन इन द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन जिसकी मैं बात कर रहा था मैंने आपको पहले बताया कि स्टेट कभी भी इंटरफेयर नहीं करता है लेकिन कभी-कभी स्टेट को इंटरफेयर करना पड़ता है रीजन क्या होता है टू प्रिवेंट डोमिनेशन ऑफ वन रिलीजियस कम्युनिटी दैट इज टू प्रिवेंट डोमिनेशन ऑफ वन रिलीजियस कम्युनिटी नथिंग टू एक्सप्लेन इन दिस and to check powerful member not separating other members of the same community okay i have explained this earlier also nothing to explain for example untouchability is banned reservation for sc st obcs untouchability is banned because it was against the principle of our constitution that is equality everyone has to be treated equal but practicing untouchability means there is something wrong in the society and not everybody is getting treated equally so that is why untouchability was banned i know i think i hope you have some idea of what is untouchability if you don't have idea you can call us anytime and get things cleared now reservation for sc st and obcs for a very long period of time a particular section of the society has been tortured or has been discriminated in the past and that is why today their social and economic condition is not well is not very good and that is why our government has decided to give reservation to them so that they can uplift their condition that is they can uplift their social and economic condition okay i think this is clear now the next one is the fundamental right to freedom of religion freedom of religion that is article 25 to 28 these rights allow citizens of India to follow, practice and preach religion of their choice. So, uh, individuals have right to choose their religion and they can practice their religion and they can propagate their religion without any interference from the state. Sometimes there could be some strategic interference because it might violate the principle of our constitution. Okay? Now, a simple idea uh, that uh, to explain what is actually the secularism. Suppose this is state and all the, this is religion 1, this is religion 2, this is religion 3, this is religion 4. And what you can observe is that every religion is at equal distance from the state. That is, every state, is, sorry, every religion is being treated equally by our state. That is, all religions are at equal distance from the state and they are not discriminated on the basis of a particular religion or the religious group they belong to. Okay? There should not be any problem. India is a secular country and no religion is preferred over any other religion when it comes to a state. Okay? A state believes that 
वी डोंट बिलीव इन एनी रिलीजन एंड एवरी रिलीजन इज एट इक्वल डिस्टेंस एंड एवरी रिलीजन शुड बी ट्रीटेड इक्वली बाय द स्टेट दैट इज वॉट स्टेट बिलीव दैट एवरी रिलीजन शुड बी ट्रीटेड इक्वली एंड देर शुड नॉट बी डिस्क्रिमिनेशन ऑफ एनी काइंड वेन इट कम्स टू रिलीजन ऑफ एन इंडिविजुअल now other societies based on the principle of secularism almost all the de- democratic countries uphold the principle of secularism to ensure equality of people irrespective of their religious belief almost every democratic countries follows this the idea of secular secularism because this ensures equality of people irrespective of the religion they belong to okay now what are some of the challenges to secularism the first one is religion religious atrocities against minorities sometimes minorities are attacked by the majority community and sometimes minority also attack majority community and there are some atrocities that that has happened against the minorities so that is one of the basic challenges of the secularism because secularism believes in equal treatment to all the religion but sometimes majority religious community may attack or or <clears throat> do harm to the minority com- uh, community so that is the matter of concern and that is the first challenge to the secularism now the second one is communal and religion based rights this is a very big challenge for our country uh, and for any secular country that is uh, uh, conflicts do happen with different religious group which uh, n- when not controlled in a nice way by our administration it may lead to communal tension and which may convert into the communal and religious rights so that is the another matter of concern that is communal and religious based rights now what is the role of secularism to handle these tensions it remind people to remain sensitive and respect differences because india is a secular country and every religion is equal before our constitution and our law so we should believe in communal harmony that is what secularism believes in that is in communal harmony and peace and it remind people to remain sensitive and respect differences that so that everyone can stay united and can stay together okay our chapter is over i hope everything is clear if uh, you have any doubts and queries you can call us anytime you have our numbers please contact us okay thank you